take the tire and the hub from this stage and assemble it as you did with the previous stage. Once you've done that, just making sure that the looking very closely that both of the spokes from the rims are going to the, the two E's and then place your oil decals as shown and apply those until we come back for the next stage. Take all your components for your shock absorber, rear shock absorber that came with this stage and it's um, exactly the same assembly as the other rear shock absorber that you did. Now, obviously when you're putting this together just be careful that you're not using um, pliers that have got any teeth that could damage the shaft. Okay. Um, once we've actually put the shock absorber together, um, we want to make sure that both the shock absorbers are set to the same length and then later on um, in the build we're going to be attaching both of the rear shock absorbers together um, to the rear of the car. Once you've done that, take the rear shock mount off of the chassis and disassemble like so and then take one of the ball shafts and push that into position like so. Do exactly the same to the other shock absorber and then we're going to be putting that back onto the rear shock assembly like so. So do exactly the same with the other one. Once you've done that, get your chassis ready and then we're going to be placing this back on top and putting the suspension back into the position like so. So lay that into position, pop your screws in. We're just going to nip them up, we're not going to tighten them right up, and then the lower shock, I'm going to place that over the ball joint, and it's difficult to see what I'm doing, just gently lift that, pop that into position, do exactly the same to the other side. that into position once that's in position and then tighten the two screws up and that completes this stage Take your components from this stage and then take your bearing and place it over the shaft like so, so the bearing drops down and then take your C-clip and you might need a pair of pliers for this, push the C-clip into position so that it keeps the bearing like so. Now in the final stage of this pack we're going to be fitting the spur gear to the shaft so take the components from this stage and notice you've got three holes here, three holes here 
you can see that through the light and it will only go one way because obviously you've got if you can catch it got these parts that stick out so place that into position align the holes like so and then you've got the three recesses on the other side take your three screws and screw those into position don't over tighten it just make sure that those three screws are down nice and tight and then we're going to be fitting the shaft once you've done that take your shaft with the bearing from the previous stage and we're just going to pass that through like so okay take your pin drop your pin through the hole so that it's like that and then just put some tape around the end here just to prevent it from dropping out like that okay so just wrap some tape around there and then put that aside until we come back for the next stage.